What's going on, everyone? Okay, Serino back. Another trucking video in Hungary for trucking. This is the Kamaz truck. It is no frills. It is bare bones. That's the fuel tank behind the cab. Um, but it can haul a lot. And uh, it's a short job, so it should be fun to find out what this thing's all about. Uh, we've got our usual Russian curtains. We're all set. This is going to be a job uh, squeezing past this trailer with this cat tractor on it. You can see definitely the one speed wipers there. That's fast, it's the only speed they've got. I had mentioned about a Kamaz before. Look at this dash. It's just like plastic things with a bulb on them. It's all your indicators. Okay, this is the deluxe model. It has two different turn indicators. The last one I used had a single one. Uh, manual transmission, obviously. Gas brake clutch. Uh, <laughs> about the most utilitarian steering wheel you can get. This is a good mod though. It's pretty accurate. I like it. You can see up here we've got our Russian Orthodox icons to keep us safe on Russian roads. And we've got our CB. So we're all set. And our radio, of course. So alright. I would think it's time for us to... Ooh, these mirrors are going to be a treat. Oops. I'll put it in gear. This one may be stationary, but I had run a Peterbilt mod before that was pretty good, except it had that fly, and it would buzz around in the cabin a lot, and it was huge, like, it's very dis disproportionately large, um, and it was just in the wind, but that's kind of interesting that they've chosen to stick that on here, uh, it must be from the same guy, I know it was a Russian uh, modder that did the Peterbilt. So, maybe the, uh, the fly there is his trademark. Jesus, I cannot see anything on that passenger side mirror. That is not very useful. It's a bit of a... It's not a terribly manly horn. I remember this from the last commas I used as well. The, uh, the wipers seem to be centered in the windshield rather than aligned with the driver's seat. Because if you look directly in front of me is where it stops and it leaves about half in the windshield on, on, uh, on the windshield. Jesus, this is going to be fun. Tuesday at 8 a.m. Yeah, we get to rush out of traffic here. Ooh, we've got a beacon, and I think we can turn it on. Let's, let's find out. We sure did. Oh, it's non-functional. Well, oh, that's a shame. But, the one on the trailer is functional. And I still love that the trucks and trailers, even on the quick job, ones in this game have, uh, correctly uh, that's what I'm looking for. the syntax is correct on the license plates for Hungary and we've got our anti 
freeze and some oil, maybe some extra gas, just in case we get froze up. Because, yeah, it's November 1st today. So, in Europe, uh, it's starting to get a little nippy, I would imagine. Even today, and I'm in Central Florida, I went outside to grab something out of my car this morning, and uh, it was about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which uh, I believe is about plus 16, plus 17 Celsius. And that kind of surprised me, because usually we don't get any nice weather like that until middle of November, sometimes not even until December. Oh, come on. You cannot be serious. Okay. We're serious. I, I ran into them. That's, that was my fault. I didn't have the brakes on. I'm tempted to just cut across this field. But that's that would be a traffic violation. And we're in this for the realism, right? That's what I keep saying, so I better I better not get too impatient. There we go. Alright, here we go. guys are doing all again since I ran into you and it wasn't me before. Jesus, look at this beast. But I just figured this would be interesting. You can buy this truck. I believe both this and the Maz truck are available at the DAF dealer. And then, <laughs> the Moz truck is interesting because, and I guess you could say it's cheating in a way, uh, but if you take off the stock wheels when you go to buy in the dealership, and you put mod wheels on it, um, that are 10 euros from the mod, uh, the entire truck costs about 200 euro. So, I'm tempted to buy one. Which, that is a bit of a cheating though. I don't think it would be cheating at all to buy a cheap Soviet truck like this for about 10 grand. Because the one mechanism that this game does not have, whether it's mods or anything else, is used trucks. Any truck that you buy is going to be brand new with zero kilometers on the clock. And to me, that's a bit uh, unrealistic. Now, this is cool. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture here. I am up on the north section. I did another job without videotaping it, so my apologies. Videotaping it. Listen to me. What is it, the 80s? Uh huh. But I went around uh, from Dora go over here to uh, Visegrad, I guess. And uh, this is a really nice drive up north here. And I thought it was cool. It has that arch. It's all driving through towns. I, I liked it. What was that all about? That was my own fault. I just made a mistake there. Okay. Now this is interesting because the mod itself, we've got the Russian plate. Makes sense. But we've got a Hungarian trailer on it as shown by the, uh, here we go, that's kind of a cool shot, as shown by the license plate, which makes sense. I always turn the blur strength down a little bit. Uh, I think it's a bit unrealistic at the default setting. Um, obviously, that would depend on your focus on the lens. But uh, anyway, I like to do it like this. I like this one. Man, that is an ugly truck. That is an ugly truck. There's just no getting around that. And I don't think this one even has a sleeper. Oh, it kind of does. 
it's more like a rear seat than a, than a sort of a sleeper. You can hear this thing, it's about to rattle itself apart. No computer, that's for sure. I'm not even sure. Okay. I did set and increase the cruise control on there. I can just start to climb up. So obviously, it does have cruise control. But, um, there's, there's certainly uh, going to be no indicator for that. And I'm sure the real truck doesn't have cruise control, so. In fact, I'm going to take the cruise off because it just doesn't make sense. And you would certainly need a third party dash mounted GPS in a truck like this. Whether on your phone or something like a Garmin. Because the only thing built into the dash here is gauges and indicators. It looks like this is only a five-speed transmission, which that's kind of wild for a truck like this. But well, obviously this thing must have done its job uh, through the years, so they would not have continued to make it. Too close to go. That feels like it's going to take a long time in this truck. This is not a beauty. But we're trying it out, we're getting the experience of it. I can't imagine too many people would want to drive this truck uh, on the regular map. And certainly not as their main truck. But, she does roll down the highway. Gotta give it the credit for that. Probably 320, 
360, something like that, because it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's struggling with the load, but it's certainly not speeding. I did also add three other mods to this, not trucks. Um, I re-enabled uh, Jazzy Cat's painted truck traffic mod, which is good. Um, it puts you know trucking company branding on uh, on most of the AI trucks. Well, it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's working. Because none of those Ibicos had trucking company names on them. You can see this. This is nothing but paint. Yeah, there's no brand on that. I don't think that's working. Uh, but I did add a bunch of trailers as well. And I haven't seen those yet. So, But I did see some of them. I have seen some of them in the previous, the previous job I did. Here we go. Here's one. Pirelli tires. So, uh, yeah. All right, I know the trailers are working, but the painted truck traffic does not seem to be working. Um, because I have this on Steam, I don't use the beta updates for ETS2, but obviously when they're released, I do have them update them automatically. So I may have been bumped up to 114 without even knowing it, and, uh, and that may have broken a couple of mods, but everything seems to be working fine. There's just no branding on these trucks except for the, the other ones like that. So I may have a conflict somewhere. The last thing I need is a ticket. Seven clicks to go. Shouldn't be too bad. I am looking forward to the end of this run because this truck is extremely loud and it's not all that great to drive. But this seems like a pretty accurate and realistic mod. Yeah. 
just about overshot the mark. And I think that would have been a red light ticket. So I think it's 350 euros. And then 1200 for this entire drive. So violations definitely add up on this map. Get 
going to take it. That's pretty bad, but it's green, so I know I say that every time that I deal with one of these yards, but them's the brakes. So there we go. 27 clicks in the old commas. Uh, I think that's the last 27 clicks. I'm going to drive to one of those, too. One hour, 14 minutes in game to drive 27 clicks. So, yeah, I don't think this truck is, uh, is on the short list anymore. 826 euros. Okay, not bad for an hour and a half's work, though. Why is the music back on? Ah, I think I know why. The music's back on because this must have updated to 114. Although... It does not tell me. Hmm. You would think, with the, uh, the version number being so critical for mods to work, that it would be kind of prominently displayed. Oh well. That's it for this one. See you next time. Thanks for watching.